If you want your child to succeed in school, college, and in a 21st century job, there's a high quality college prep school that prepares students for just that. Want to learn more? Well, Dr. George Rising is here to tell us about an open house at the Rising School. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. So let's start out by talking about the Rising School. Mm -hmm. So we're at Charter School. We're located over on uh, Broadway near Prudence uh, between Kolb and Pantano. And uh, currently we're grades 6 through 10, and then our, as our 10th graders matriculate, they'll end up being in 12th grade. So we'll have a complete middle school and high school. But right now we're recruiting for uh, students th from 6th through 10th grade. And our main, um, our main focus is academic. We're a college prep school, as you mentioned. We really are looking for students to be prepared um, to what we do is we look at what you need in college, and then we kind of prepare that for high school and then back in the middle school so students have a nice stepping stone all the way to any kind of college or career that they'd like to have. So when you're talking to parents, why do you see that a lot of them end up coming and enrolling their children in your school? We get different groups of parents um, with different kind of um, things that they want. I mean, I think all parents want kind of a similar thing. Um, academically, I think they're really drawn to our, our strong academics. Our, our AIM scores just came out, and even though it was our first year last year, we did very well, um, better than some of the other schools in our area. So that was really nice that we're not a, we're not, you know, a, a school that really looks to, to scores and that sort of thing as the end all and be all, but I think that does show that our academics are there. But I think parents, uh, we have different groups of parents coming in. Um, some of them are, have their children are in big public schools. And I think there's a lot, especially in middle school, you know, elementary school, I think there's still a lot of times they're in one classroom. They're still kind of um, very protective with the, with the one teacher or what have you. But once they get into some of these bigger middle schools that might have 1,000 or 1,500 students, they can kind of fall through the cracks. Mm -hmm. And we've noticed that, that some students um, have done that. They did well in elementary school, but then they're kind of falling through the cracks. Second thing is a big issue, as you, as you folks know, is, is bullying. A lot of bullying in schools. And with our small school, we have, have less than 100 students in our school. It's very easy to keep an eye on everyone and to really know what's going on and be proactive. And of course, we do a lot of, um, we have an advisory program where we talk about things like bullying and we really look at the whole student, not just their academics, but their personal lives, how they get along with others too. So that's another aspect. And then the third group that we have, um, interestingly enough, is uh, we have quite a few um, people coming from who had done homeschooling and now they don't want to go back to a big school, but we'd rather come to a smaller school. And it's kind of a nice um, kind of mid-range mid between the big, really big schools and doing homeschooling. Absolutely, and we are just about to show a video, George, but first I want to say, you know, it's, it's one thing for the parents to say how much they love your school, but I think an even bigger thing would be to hear right from the students, and that's exactly what you brought us with this video. So let's take a look. The thing I like about this school is like, usually at another school you don't get the closeness. It's kind of like a family. Everybody's like really nice and you can get to know each other because it's a small school. It's a friendly environment, like I feel safe here. The teachers are really relatable. You can really get to like know each other like in your classroom. I like how small the school is. So there's not a few hundred students there and the teachers are always distracted with other students. What I like most about it is that we're a family here and the teachers are eager to teach us and that we're eager to learn and I'm surrounded by people who are comfortable with learning and being good students. I like this school because it's more laid back than most. You get more opportunities to get help and you get a better education here than you would at a public school. And the, the school we learn a lot of leadership and like a lot of how to take charge and how to really pay attention to what you're being told. It helps you get prepared so you can actually do the things when you're older. It's a college prep school, so it's specifically preparing you for later in life. The teachers really help us out and we get a lot of time with them. I think this just kind of prepares me for life because I get to learn how to be comfortable with other people and they're opening me up to new experiences and teaching me new things. Well, you know what they say, doctor, the proof is in the pudding and the kids, you know, we're hearing straight from them how they feel and on top of hearing from them and you're telling us about what the parents, um, you know, why they may end up coming here and enrolling their child, we're talking about those AIM score. What about extracurricular things, which is unfortunately what we've heard a lot of is get ends up getting cut in budgets in a lot of schools. How do you guys fare in that department? Well, we have all of, all of the extracurriculars that um, other schools do. One of the things that we do during the day, we actually have um, every student is required to have art, fine arts during the day, during the school day, and then also um, 
In addition, students are required to have phys ed, and those are two things that are being cut in a lot of schools, arts and phys ed. Um, in addition, we have um, many different um, extracurriculars, including um, robotics we're doing this year. Um, our robotics teacher um, at his old school took his team to the national championship in that, um, in that thing. We have um, Spanish is another one. We have dance. We have some uh, music, and we have drama. I think that's great. I love that you and guys sports are, too. Sorry. And sports. Sorry. And I love that you're gearing. We're doing all of this, uh, this extracurricular. We're also focusing on, on, on education, but we really are in the end goal trying to prepare them for college, which is going to be a huge life change for them. So I think this is amazing. And I know I'm going to invite everybody out to your open house. And this is open for everyone, right? Yeah, correct. Uh, it, it'll be, we'll have food and uh, presentations and a tour of the school. So it'll be a, a great time. Yeah. Doctor, thank you so much for coming and explaining more about the Rising School. This was amazing. Thank you. Absolutely. And like we said, you are invited to attend an open house at the Rising School this Saturday, July 18th from 1 to 4 p.m. For more information, you can call 730-2657 or log on to risingschool.org.